so good. We have not said this to you before. If you were sitting at your desk, we would say, write this down. <laughs> when the problem presents itself to you in a conscious way, by then it has been moving along. It has been expanding and growing for some time. Are you hearing this? And during every bit of the expansion of what you are now much later concluding is the problem, there has been an equal and proportionate solution that is brewing as well in what we are calling the vortex of creation. So when you know what you don't want, the larger part of you knows what you do want. And by the time you are able to pronounce your question or pronounce your problem, we promise you the solution or the answer has already been actualized and is waiting for you vibrationally just to flip that little button and get tuned into the frequency where the answer can be heard by you. You understand how it works? We so want you to get it that when you know what you don't want, the answer to what you do want is already amassed in this vortex of creation. This vortex of creation where law of attraction assembles all cooperative components. The question that this workshop wants to help you uncover for yourself is, are you a cooperative component or not? Are you allowing yourself to be assembled with all of the cooperative components so that you get to have the manifestation can you feel your way into cooperation or do you have to see your way into cooperation that's really the big question that we want to uncover and highlight and amplify until you really get it here today we want you to feel the power of your questions and the power of your situations and issues and problems. But more than that, we want you to take the bounce that that awareness of that problem gives you the bounce. We want you to try to feel your way forward into this vortex of creation where the solution already exists. Did we convince you? that there is a vortex of creation and do you accept that you are vibrational beings because that is the basis of the understanding of this gathering you have to accept that you are vibration first and foremost you are so good at your physical translation and this reality that you call real life reality is so vivid with all that you can see and hear and smell and taste and feel about it in other words it's vivid and we know it's intoxicating we know it's addictive we know it's compelling we know we know that it's enticing we know that in most cases it has your full attention but we want to make a very strong point at the beginning here today that if you're tuned to see so vividly only what you can translate through your physical senses and if you are unwilling to try to understand what's going on over here in this vortex of creation we get why reality is more interesting to you than vibrational reality because reality has manifested meaning you can see it here it smell it taste it touch it but we want you to understand that you have the ability to see what's going on over here in this vibrational reality it's just a different lens that you will use to see it at first and it's the lens of your emotions you're going to feel your way forward into hear it here's the most important thing you'll hear us say all day into this present tense vibrational reality that's the thing we so want you to hear this is the present tense now many of you say Abraham come on give me a break how can you be calling present tense something that hasn't manifested yet I want to call that from where I stand over here in my physical body future my future experience and we say but the problem with that is all of your power is now all of your point of attraction is now all of your vibrating is now all of your beating the drum that activates the thought that equals your point of attraction all of that is happening right here and now so if you are offering a vibration about what you're observing you're holding yourself apart from the expanded you that has already taken form in this vortex of creation 
We know it's a little mind twisting that happens as we try to convey to you the wholeness of who you are. We know that it's not easy to wrap your thoughts around things that you can't see, but we also know you are vibrational beings and have been from the moment you set forth into this physical body. There has been a vibrational relationship going on between you and you, between the non-physical you who remains in non-physical, even though the physical you is here, there has been a vibrational relationship going on between you and you, as long as you have been here in this physical body. And that relationship between you and you is evidence to you by the emotions that you feel. What we want you to hear us say, the meaning that we want you to collect from this conversation is that the emotions that you feel are your vibrational indicators of the blending or the resisting between you and you. And as you allow yourself to feel your way into alignment with who you are, as you tune that frequency, we promise you it will broadcast in a way that you can hear it. It will broadcast in a way that you can see it. It must manifest. It will come into full view for you in powerful ways. If you will allow yourself to be a vibrational match to what is present tense from our point of view. Now, in order for you to get very good at that, you could stand in the middle of a problem and say, oh, wait, 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 wait. I remember Abraham said, if I'm standing in the middle of a problem, the solution is already there. So good to know it's already there. Instead of saying, where is it? I can't find it. I don't know where it is. I've been here so long. I'm unhappy about being here. I'm afraid I'm disappointed. I don't deserve this. What has gone wrong in my life experience? This problem should not be mine. I don't want it, but I've got it. Will you help me? I'm afraid. And we say, as you beat the drum of where you are in your problem, you hold yourself vibrationally out of earshot, out of feel shot, out of the feeling place of what's going on, the solution that's already present tense over here in this vortex of creation. So all day today, you're going to hear us. You're going to talk about a lot of things and we're going to give you one eventually very boring answer. Go to the vortex, 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 go to the vortex until eventually we'll break you down and someone will scream from the back row. How do we get in the vortex? <laughs> and we want you to understand that the vortex is a vibrational state of being that you feel your way to. And the way you go to the vortex is by reaching for the feeling of what the vortex feels like. So we're just going to tell you what the vortex feels like. The vortex feels like this place of well-being where a feeling of well-being, a feeling of stamina, a feeling of vitality. It's that fresh feeling. Jerry and Esther watched a little girl in a campground in Boston the other day. She was running alongside her big sister who was on a bicycle and this little girl, three, four years old, maybe her ponytail bouncing and her little shoes lighting up with every step she took. She was so in love with life on this beautiful fall day, bouncing through this campground, so vividly glad to be alive. And as Jerry and Esther watched her, the street went round this group of vehicles that was parked. Did you see Jerry and Esther's monster bus in the parking lot? It was parked there in a big space area and as this little girl ran around and around and around and around Esther ran from window to 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 window Esther couldn't take her eyes off this little girl who was in the vortex everything about her was vivid and alive Esther wanted to just put everything she was doing on hold and just get on her own bicycle and spend the day with these kids it was so obvious that there was not a problem anywhere near activation in her little vibration in that moment. She was so tuned in to the whole of who she is. And Jerry and Esther said, she's in the vortex. She's so in the vortex. And we want to say to you, why was she in the vortex? Get ready for it. It's profound because she wasn't out of the vortex. <laughs> now that was better than you know, because what we're saying to you is you'll be in the vortex unless you do that thing that doesn't let you in. In other words, you can be in the vortex and find some negative thought and the vortex will spit you right out because vibrations have to match up. Law of attraction will not allow you to be in a vibration of well-being and in a vibration of worry at the same time.
So you've got to lean in the direction of the vortex. You've got to get in there every now and again, even by accident. In other words, by accident, we mean not deliberately focusing yourself there by observation. You're really good at that in your physical form. Do you know that most of the vibration that you offer is because of what you are observing? So here's Esther and Jerry in their monster bus in this campground on this beautiful day. And what do they have the delicious benefit of being able to observe someone so in the vortex that as soon as they laid their eyes on her, they did not want to take their eyes off of her. And because she spun her web around them around and 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 around she went holding them for way more than 68 seconds in captivation of focused upon this joyful little child right into the vortex they went now here's the thing that we want you to hear this vortex is calling you always calling you always and it's a powerful call you have to do some really strident often chronic thought that holds you out of the vortex for the vortex to not take you in. Do you know where the doorway to this vortex is on this emotional scale that we've been talking to you about where joy and empowerment is on one end and where depression and disempowerment is on the other end. And then all of the emotions in between there's depression and then there is revenge and then there is anger and then less anger and overwhelmment and frustration. And pretty soon you get into this place of more optimism or hope. When you reach the vibrational attitude, the emotional attitude of hope, that doorway to the vortex is between hope and believing. So if you're hanging around in the vicinity of hope, that vortex will take you in. And when the vortex takes you in, now what you couldn't see when you were not in the vortex, you now can see from inside the vortex. In other words, what we want you to understand is you're going to feel your way in because you can't see your way in. You may have been hearing us say, we've been saying it for a long time, that when you want something and you talk about why you want it, there's less resistance in why you want it than in how you're going to get it, when it's going to come, who's going to bring it, how long is it going to take, where is it going to be? In other words, those questions to which you don't know answers cause you to stay outside the vortex because it's aggravating the problem or the absence of what is wanted. We're always calling you into the vortex. We're always calling you forward into that which you really are. And unless you are doing that thing, you'll come easily. And as you allow yourself vibrationally to move into the vibrational proximity of this vortex, what begins to happen to you is you begin to practice the vibration of alignment you begin to practice the vibration of allowing you know a belief is just a thought you keep thinking it's just a habit of thought so if you've got habits of thoughts about unwanted things Esther will say well Abraham it's true it's true as if that is a good criteria to give your attention to something and we say there are a lot of true things that are very far away from who you are and what you want and there are a lot of true things like this little girl bouncing around the campground who is a perfect match to who you are and what you want. So we have two primary encouragements to any of you who want to live the joyful life that you came to live. And that's all of you. The first is understand the existence of this vibrational reality and accept it as present tense and do your best to move in the direction of it with every thought word and action the second is if you will look for things to appreciate where you are become a better selective sifter decide that you're going to tune yourself to the frequency of all that you have become and that's the thing that we really want you to understand this is the thing that sometimes is hard to understand your life is causing you to expand and the only thing that will ever cause you to have negative emotion is you not taking the expansion. You are expanding beings. And the only reason that you ever feel negative emotion of any kind ever, the only reason you ever feel negative emotion is because you've moved and become something that you in your moment of negative emotion are not allowing yourself to be.